Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Int LR Jackie Chin and just how he does as a LR character in DBZ Doka Metal. Now Jackie Chin is a really impressive character. Um, I think he's probably the best World Tournament LR, at least right now for me. Even with all the easy A's, I think he's still the best because he's just so versatile. Uh, but let's talk about him. He's a World Tournament category lead of 130%. He raises defense on his 12 key with a high chance of stunning and on his 18 key raises attack for one turn with a high chance of stunning. He has key plus 4, attack and defense of 120%. World Tournament category allies get key plus 3, attack and defense of 50%, self excluded. He's an additional attack of 20% with each super attack performed up to 60 and additional defense with each attack received up to 60%. When an enemy is hit by his ultra super attack, he will reduce damage received from that enemy by 50% for the duration of that turn. His active skill raises attack by 610% temporarily, causes damage to the enemy and within the turn activated, all of his attacks have a 64% chance of becoming a critical hit. It can be activated after receiving an attack six or more times in battle or after he performs four or more super attacks. Brainiacs, World Tournament, Kamehameha, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Ball, Sharing the Limit and Legendary Power are his link skills. In terms of categories on World Tournament, Full Power, DB Saga, Kamehameha, Earthlings, Battle of Wits, Planetary Destruction, Accelerate Battle, Earthbred Fighters, and Tournament Participants. Now, uh, Jackie Chun, in terms of build, probably want to go for a more additional centric build, maybe more crit. Uh, I think personally, I find that additional feels better because it allows you to get your active skill uh, actually frequently. And since I plan on the majority using him as a floater, additionals allow me to get that defensive raise, which does help him out overall. With that being said, though the number one priority actually with Jackie Chun is key. You want to prioritize getting him as much key as possible uh, so that he can get his 18 key. With his 18 key, he is unironically a red zone slash end game worthy character. He can shuck out 7 million attack stats. He can shuck out 350 or between 300 and 400 K defense, depending obviously on if he gets an additional super and he will have 50% damage reduction. It's not to say that he's impenetrable but the fact that he can do all of that and give 50% support to the World Tournament category is pretty good. The World Ta Tournament category has some pretty good units. You've got Int, Jackie Chun, you've got Strength, Krillin, you've got Int, Piccolo Jr., you've got Tech, World Tournament Goku. So you've got a pretty good team already that he is being a 50% based support for. Like he is being an absolute Chad support for the World Tournament category. So for me, I definitely find that he is an incredibly good unit. And yeah, I really do uh, find him to be super duper solid. Obviously, as World Tournament grows as a category, he'll get more usability. He's not going to remain useful forever, but honestly speaking, this guy is really awesome. Uh, and it really, 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 really really good um like additional i think it's really 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 amazing and i think personally as well uh for me you know he's a great support character i think he's a really 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 solid support i think he works great the fact that we have still the incredibly solid world tournament tech goku we still have the incredibly solid in Demon king Pic or piccolo jr we have these still very solid um strength krillin you know these three units really accentuate and kind of push this jackie chun to being an excellent choice and an excellent addition to the majority of teams now of course you know there are um how often is world tournament going to get buffed we don't know um, but i think for me he's still really good uh, even without factoring in his support you know, the rest of his kit still functions really well the big thing is obviously key are you going to get enough key then but he works fine on like an earthbred fighters um you know he works fine on a db saga he works fine on a lot of those you know kind of categories as well so i don't think he's you know entirely just limited to being 
only on a world tournament team. I think he 100% can be on, you know, Earth Red Fighters, DB Saga, any of those teams. Um, overall, a really good unit. The big thing is obviously his link set. You know, is his link set going to be able to facilitate or, you know, um, like be able to handle working on multiple different teams? I think it's okay. He's got mu multiple key links, but he does need a lot of key. He doesn't have any key besides his four key built in that he has. He doesn't gain any key you know, outside of that. Um, so key is his primary primary focus. That's why links like World Tournament Champion are so important. Incredible Adventure is so important. Uh, sharing the Limit is so important. Because these are his three key links. Now, of course, uh, if you want to just get the best out of him, uh, you probably want to look at getting World Tournament Incredible Adventure and Sharing the Limit. That gives him 6 key, uh, gives him 22% defense, and puts him in a pretty good position. Uh, offensively, Guidance of the Dragon Balls is also great, and you can get that you know, quite reliably. Brainiacs is a great link, giving him 15% attack and defense, but is not super duper common. But surprisingly, is actually not too hard to get on a Earthbred Fighters or DB Saga team. I mean, you've got him that can give it, you've got uh, the LR Belma that can give it, you've got the other LR, uh, or you've got the LR Master Roshi that can give Brainiacs. So there is quite a fair chunk uh, of, you know, like units that can give Brainiacs weirdly on Earthbred Fighters. But yeah, I think for me, he's really, really good. Uh, for me, I think he's great. I think he has a really solid just ability overall. And I think he brings great utility. He's got the stunning, but really it's the fact that he has that damage reduction uh, that really kind of elevates him, I want to say. I don't, you know, don't want to state that it's, uh, it's the only thing he has about him, but it definitely feels like that is you know, what elevates him into being so usable. Bye.